Hey folks, dude here, coming to you, coming to you, coming to you, coming to you on, uh, well, by Sunday, but it really doesn't matter. But anyway, I um, wanted to get on in a little conversation here, pretty much do that whole pistol versus revolver thing. So let, let's just have a little get together here. So first and foremost, uh, one of my favorite buddies, little here, Booger, is going to be the Smithson Wesson 19, two and a half stubby. And yes, it has been safety checked. It is loaded. So, this guy is ready to rock. Uh, Smith & Wesson, 357, 19, combat masterpiece. This this little guy is known... Let me crack my camera down just, just a skosh. Uh, this little guy is known to be the little booger that was the Secret Service special, read like executive protection, wanker from, well, goodness, and, uh, well, they, they work, okay? This one actually happens to be a pinned, so it has a little pin right there, and it is a... Recessed versions, you can see the chamber is such that the cartridges are actually into the cylinder. So those are pinned and recessed. This one actually happens to be a 19, oh, let's see. This one is a 19, 19.3. So third iteration of the Model 19 makes this a perfectly good bugger. Has adjustable sights, of course. It is a true, I'm not going to do it actually, that'd be stupid, but it is an actual single and double action. The double action on this one is very, very nice. The single action is also very, very nice. It is a two and a half inch barrel, so you do give up a little bit in terms of ballistics. Uh, you pretty much could, could, could consider this thing a seriously hot rod 38 special if you're running 357 Magnum, which is what this is actually chambered in. It actually does shoot 357. Uh, currently, I do have on board, I do have... Uh, silver tip 38 special plus peas because I want them to hang up on the wall, but yet I want to have some mm, But yet I want to make sure that you know I make the impression as such as I don't go through walls and potentially hit something else important now I've, I've been having this really major problem like you know I come out and I basically say okay well I want to look at the you know the one pistol and <sighs> Another one jumped on board <sighs> Dang it All right, this one being the uh, CZ 75 and of course has been safety checked, and yes, it is live. So, we, we all know that guns only go bang when you put your burger hook on the bang switch. So, full mag, one up the pipe. This one carrying the, uh, I think, federal or, uh, no, I think it's uh, CCI, uh, which are basically the little soft guys, which have the uh, gold dots. I think they're the gold dots. So basically, it is a soft lead bullet with enough copper plating on board so that when the bullet goes in, it makes a big smush. And yes, you got to remember, there is a, still a live round in the chamber. It makes a big smush, but yet the uh, plating is such is that the rounds don't let up the barrel too bad. So also very, very good. So CZ-75B, the biggest thing you could say about this guy versus this guy is this is only six shots. This is 15 plus one. With bigger magazines, you can get 20 rounders for this. Uh, these are pretty much not really in vogue anymore. Everybody's really going for like polymer pistols like Glocks and uh, Smith & Wesson M&Ps and the like and what have you. But this one is literally steel on steel on steel on steel. And it is a reverse index style of weapon. Has the rails inside the frame, not the other way around. So it's literally the frame wraps around the slide rides inside that versus the slide riding on the frame. Uh, there's been this people who said that these actually are a bit more accurate in that regard. I don't know. I've I've held pretty damn tight groups at like 25 meters shooting this thing. I mean, I've literally hit the same hole at 25 meters with, you know, fixed sights, old ass nine millimeter. It works. I think a couple more jumped on board when I was just upstairs. You know what? I'm just minding my own business. Oh, yeah. Dang it. Ugh. Yeah, this one jumped on board. This one, of course, being, yes, live yet again. This one, of course, being the 45 ACP, and it is live. So this one being the SIG P220, uh, the Monster Mega Mother. Nice one being that this one is not a European style, but is a an American style, so it does have a button style of magazine release. Now, the nice thing about most of your 45s is they are seven or eight round weapons. Well, if you decide to take the stretch, you spend a couple more bucks, you actually can find a bigger magazine. This, of course, being a 10-rounder, but the beauteous thing about that one is, of course, you know when you're shooting a 10-rounder versus a 7-rounder, it sticks out the butt. 10 rounds plus one, 11 rounds of 45 ACP. If you can't get the job done with that, you suck. 
Now, uh, the biggest thing going for the CZ-75, of course, it is a weapon that you can carry cocked and locked, a la your 1911. Uh, Jeff Cooper said the CZ-75 is possibly one of the best crunching tickers on the planet. And uh, this thing, you can tell this thing is steel and steel and steel and steel. This one versus this one, this one being a 45 ACP, this one being a 9mm, this one is drastically heavier than this one. The SIG P220 is an aluminum framed weapon. Uh, you definitely notice the difference when you have an alloy versus a steel frame weapon system. Trust me. Uh, the biggest thing you can say about the CZ in comparison to the, uh, the P220 is the P220 has a decocker as the safety item. This one actually does have a true safety on board, so you can cock it, put the safety on board, carry it cocked, lock, condition one, ready when you just flick the safety down and you are ready to cock, lock, rock, and roll. This guy, you basically just squeeze off a double action round, just like this guy. These are both single and double action pistols. In other words, you can actually, you can have it cocked, which is not the mode of operation of this guy. Pretty much you're carrying this thing, hammer down, stroking through a double action stroke, and then single action thereafter. This one actually might have a either a step back or a step forward because it actually is cocked and locked when you put the safety on, and it is cocked in single action. Every trickle press is going to feel the same. This one, of course, being a double action, you have to start from double action, transition to single action. Yes, you could do that with this one too. This one actually has a very decent trigger. I mean, the, the CZ guys have always made very nice pistols. Uh, I've actually worked on this one a little bit, and I smoothed out the trigger just a touch. It's still a combat pistol, but you know what? It's got a really decent trigger for a combat pistol. This guy is pretty much the SIG P220. If you pick up one of these guys, it is literally like getting into the Mercedes-Benz or the BMW. You know what you're getting into. You know, you have the Schweizer Ice Industry Gassalt, where they're making, you know, the basically the, 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 the top of the line, you know, premium creme de la creme. And these things have actually been around quite a bit. They started out in 9mm, 38 special, 45 ACP was added on a little bit later on, and they were known as having a heel-style magazine release. In other words, you'd have to flick a lever back, and the magazine would then drop out. Versus the Americanized version, where you had a true magazine release, a la 1911 style. Now, I was just in the gun room, meat room, doing whatever, minding my own business, and, you know, I, I just walked in there, and all these things attacked me, and I, I didn't know they jumped on board. I think they were trying to hitchhike or something. Uh, but, you know, when you're just looking in your gun room, and everybody jumped... Oh, wait a minute, there's something else going on here. Uh, oh, jeez, dude. Ah, ah, ah. Dang it. Yeah, the Model 28 decided he was going to jump on board too. This one is the Smith & Wesson Model 28, and yes, it has been safety checked, okay? It is properly loaded. This one being the bigger brother to this guy right here is yet another 357. This one is an N-frame 357. This one is a K-frame 357. This one, you could shoot this thing all day long, hottest load you'd ever want to throw through it, lightest load you ever want to throw through it, it does nothing but go bang. This one is not a pinned and recessed. This one is a Model 28. Uh, this one is also a 28. Well, it's a 28-3. So these are both dash 3. The biggest difference from this one is this is not a pinned recessed weapon. Notice the cartridge heads actually stick up just a little bit above the cylinder. So this is not a pinned and recessed weapon. But the end frame has been around for a long time. Uh, started out 44, 40, 45 long Colt, 44 Magnum, 41 Magnum, 10 millimeter, 357, uh, and all kinds of 32, 20, I think. It has been all manner of iterations of cartridges that this thing's been chambered in, and it has been nothing but a good, reliable standby from the 357 family in Smith & Wesson. It is a tank, okay? Truthfully, this is not a light piece. Um... You know what? I tend to think that this and the CZ are actually pretty close. If not, the CZ might even be a skosh heavier than a 6-inch 357 <laughs> revolver. Uh, the best thing you can say about this thing is, while you can get it in 44 Magnum, I've shot a 44 Magnum. It is not a pleasant cartridge to shoot. 357 Magnum, I can shoot literally all day long and enjoy it most handily. And uh, it's, it's a good experience. If you want to basically not scare somebody with a Magnum cartridge, give them a 357. All right, folks, okay, they're going to break off of this one. I think I don't have any more firearms on board. Uh, let me do a quick surface check here. Um, 
No, no, we're good. Okay, that was everybody that jumped on board. But let me give you guys another little bit of tactical thinking here. I just stood up in front of the camera, and you guys didn't see any of these weapons on my person. Be tactically minded. You don't know what somebody might have. And of course, when in bad times, well, I have a gun. Better yet, I have two. <laughs> All right, folks, I'm going to break up with this one. Eco, Captain Rings, always, always, you know what, you love it. Uh, when in doubt, have a firearm. When in doubt, have many, many firearms. When in, when in, when in, when in serious doubt, have your carry permit and always carry and take down the goblins when they create mayhem. I'm going to break up with this one. So, see you guys and uh, have a good one.